Hey everyone, welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm Andrea Pisano. We were here, we are here live streaming from Photo Plus Expo 2015. Um, uh, yeah, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm so excited about this next guest. Her name's Lisa and the company is called Goal Zero and there is so much behind this company. It's not just cool gadgets and solar powered stuff. There's a message, there's a history behind it, even though it's only six years old. So Lisa, thank you so much for being here with me today. No, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to share who we are and what we do with you guys. Yes, me too. That's why I was, we were off camera and I was like, shh, don't stop telling me because I want you to tell everyone on camera. Um, so tell us a little bit about Goal Zero and how it got started as a company. Right. So like you mentioned already, we're about six years old. We do portable solar power, anything from charging phones, cameras, laptops, even full-size refrigerators or lights if the power goes out. We... My favorite part about the company is who we are and what we stand for. So we exist to empower human potential. We actually started in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, bringing power and lights to people living there without. The interesting thing about the Congo, everybody has a cell phone, but they don't have the infrastructure to charge it. Wow. So it, they have multiple different networks like AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, but none of the phones actually talk to each other. So people needed a way to charge up their gear and our founder, Robert Workman, saw this need for development over there. He said, hey, if I can bring power to these people so that they can stay communicated and stay in touch, what would that do for the economy and how would that help lift them out of poverty? And then he threw in lights to the equation because light really does equal life. If you've ever been in a blackout, if there's a way to turn the lights on, it kind of gives you a sense of stability. Well, in the Congo, it also decreases crime, decreases birth rates, increases literacy, because when the sun goes down, everything stops. Turn on a light switch, kids can continue reading through the night. And so that's really where our product came from. And it started with just a simple battery pack, a solar panel, and a light. And today we've transformed into a business that powers people anywhere doing anything that they really want to do. So whether you're a mom looking to stay connected at a soccer field, if you're going out camping and you want to take a little entertainment with you, or if you want to keep your family prepared in case of some sort of emergency, we've got the power to keep you going. I think that's the biggest part and what a feat that he took on. You know what I mean? That's so, tr it's tremendous really to just say, hey, the people in the Congo, that it's affecting them in so many different ways. The simple thing that we take for granted, electricity, power, and light. But obviously, here in the U.S., um, having an emergency is one of the biggest concerns. Whether, I mean, I live in L.A., and people talk about being prepared for earthquakes all the time. Definitely. And then we were just talking about things like Hurricane Sandy or even 9-11, where communication is actually stopped because and it's something that you didn't expect but it's the biggest problem with you know moving forward with even how to help people <laughs> yeah exactly. in that situation you know and it's funny you say you're from california so i was there during the northridge quake i was wow. i was a little kid you know wow. but uh but yeah i remember how everything just shut down for a while there was no light at night you know i remember kind of huddling around candles and things like that just you know it's going to happen, but you never mm -hmm. know quite when. Ugh, so I don't want to know when. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's when products like this come in handy. I mean, this one right here is our Torch 250. Okay. So this is really kind of the best light to have for any sort of emergency. There's a solar panel built right into it that just continuously trickle charges the battery. There's also a hand crank on the side. Ooh. So, yeah, you can charge it just about any way. And then there's a floodlight. There's a spotlight. There's even a USB port right here to charge your phone. This will charge a phone about two full times. What? Yeah, get no out of town, way. right? Yeah, get out of town. <laughs> Wait, so, okay, uh, I'm hand cranking. How how long and how much energy do I have to put into it for it to be a full power charge for a phone, say, for 100%? <laughs> so about a minute of cranking for phone is about a minute of talk time. A minute of cranking for light minute of cranking is about 10 minutes of light. So with this guy, you're really never going to be left in the dark. Wow. You're like literally never literally be left you'll in never the, be left in the dark. That's kind of amazing. In a minute for a talk time, all, any of us who are addicted to our cell phones, that's like, uh, but you know what? When you're in trouble, that could be saving a life. And that's tremendous, especially a minute for light. That's yeah. a pretty good deal. Yeah. That's not that difficult. And especially you might not need the crank. It exactly. Might be, you know, that's the nice thing about having the solar panel on the side of it there. Yeah. Since it'll just continuously trickle charge it. So that it's is amazing. Yeah. It's our torch 250. It's been on the market for about a year now. 
and you can pick it up for about $79 at GoalZero.com, REI. There's lots of different retailers that carry our product around here. I mean, let's be serious. When we're talking about price points for products, $79 for something like this that is is self-sufficient? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is nothing. Yeah. Really. It's peace of mind. It is peace of mind, and you, you just have to know where to find it exactly. if you're in the dark. <laughs> exactly. You know, we do a lot of lighting products, like I mentioned. We talked about earlier how important it is. During Hurricane Sandy, light was huge for us. We donated about $600,000 worth of product. We sent wow. nine employees of our office from our office to the Rockaways to help distribute power. Light was huge, but power was another thing. This is our, right here is our Yeti 150 solar generator. This guy is really great for charging phones, tablets, running lights. We have bigger versions of this. So here's, here's a cool use case for you. During Hurricane Sandy, we showed up later, kind of after some of the stuff had happened, and we found this church that was kind of the community center mm -hmm. of the whole neighborhood. And they were getting to the point where gasoline was completely scarce, they couldn't get it anymore, and they were wondering what they were gonna do with all of the medications in their fridges, so insulin, penicillin, uh. that kind of thing. So these battery tanks, these Yeti solar generators that charge up from the sun that don't require gas, our bigger model, you can actually plug a fridge directly into it. Wow. So we showed up on the Rockaways, we brought in some of our Yeti generators and we were able to keep the fridges going when they were realistically pretty scared about what they were gonna have to do for next steps. That's amazing, so they got to save the medicine and, and the things that would save other lives mm -hmm. instead of throwing it all out, starting from scratch and really scrambling in that situation. Yeah. Now how did you guys even find out about where to go and what was needed at Hurricane Sandy? You know, one thing was we just activated. We knew that we needed to do something. The trouble was finding who to partner with. Yeah. We were fortunate enough to partner up with a group called Team Rubicon. So they're actually a group, a lot of them are return Afghanistan vets who are just looking for ways to stay involved and help their communities. That's we amazing. now partner all of their communications off of our solar products. And so we call, you know, started working with Team Rubicon. They form these small strike teams. They get into where people need them most, and they don't have to deal with a lot of the red tape that'll kind of come around. I mean, because $600,000 is not chum change, but for something like that, it, it probably made such a difference in helping the people who went through such a you know, trauma. Yeah, and it wasn't necessarily money that we were donating. It was the product the products, that they needed. Right, it, was, right. it was the power to charge their phones. It was the power that they needed to run the lights to kind of keep a sense of stability when all of this chaos was unfolding exactly, around them. Exactly, exactly. Plus, when you don't have to rely on gas for power, it really kind of helps out. I, I, I mean, some of the lines were four hours long, six hours long, and that was if they could even get the gas out of the tanks right. to, to distribute it. So. Oh, that's insane. It's it's hard to even think about. So tell us a little bit about more of these products that you have here. Yeah, so <laughs> this is one that's by far one of my favorite products. So this is our Flip 10. So it's a 2,600 milliamp hour battery. Okay, milliamp hours, what does that really mean? <laughs> right. This will give you about- Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Viewers, I know Mike, Michael Arzis knows what milliamp is, but for anybody who doesn't know out there, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> so this little guy will give you about one full charge on a cell phone before you'd need to charge it again. Okay. The really thing that makes it different from some of the other stuff on the market, this flip out USB port is actually how you charge the battery. So you don't need an extra cable lost in your bag or your purse to charge this little guy. Awesome. It also allows for something called pass-through power. And this is really hard to find in a lot of competitor products. What that means is I can charge the battery, so I can charge the Flip 10 and charge my phone by plugging it into the port right here at the same time. Here's my use case. What? I travel yes. a lot for work, kind of all over the place. And hotel rooms are notoriously known for not having enough AC ports or USB mm -hmm. ports around them. So what you can do is plug this into the USB port, plug your phone into the top. When you go to sleep in the morning, you wake up and everything is charged. Everything. Everything's charged. The other cool feature of that comes when you use one of our solar panels. So you can actually plug the battery into the solar panel. You can open the solar panel in the dashboard of your car. If you're a hiker, or you're gonna be outside, you can plug it in and hang it on a backpack. Wow. And then you can plug your phone in and charge everything at once. That's unbelievable. So this alone does not charge by solar. Right. Okay. Yeah. But you, you use one of the solar panels and boom, you're ready to go. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So say it again is one full charge for a cell phone. One full charge for a cell phone. It'll also do like GoPro cameras a couple times, things like that. It's just mainly to do USB power right. devices. Right, anything that's USB related. Yep. Okay, great. They retail so cool. for a- it's, uh, it's light? Yeah, it's super tiny. lightweight. Comes in really cool colors. This is just one of the ones that we have. Wow. Yeah. 
So it retails for $29.99. You can find it just about anywhere. Goldzero.com, Amazon.com, those type of things. I'm sorry, and how long does it take to charge from the solar panel? To charge from the solar panel, two to four hours of full sunlight. That's nothing. Mm-hmm. Right? Same as if you plug it into any USB port. Got so. it. One of the other cool ones I want to show you really fast is our Venture 30. So okay. this is a this is a bigger <clears throat> version of that guy, but it's also ruggedized. Uh, I'll let you hold it. You can feel there's rubber that goes all the way around it. Oh yeah. So that rubber runs all the way through the product that makes it almost completely waterproof. So you oh. can get it wet, have it at the bar, and somebody could spill a beer. And get all the way in the USB ports, and it won't ruin the integrity of the product. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, what does this guy do? So that one is meant to charge your cell phone, GoPro cameras. It'll even do an iPad uh, oh, one okay. full time. So it's just a basic USB out. And the other nice thing about it is you could drop it and it'll bounce like a hockey puck. No way. Yeah. It has a flashlight built into it. Oh, okay. So I've used that on like a lot of taxi rides in my purse. Yes. If I need to find something, I can dig through it and find it that way. Okay. So. All righty. Um, is there anything really quick we need to go over that we didn't hit? The solar panels, obviously. How much are those? So the solar panels started about $80 and then go from there. Okay. They're smaller, there's bigger ones. It really just depends on the size that you need to pair it with the, with the battery pack. This battery right here is our Sherpa 100. It'll actually run a MacBook Pro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. This is all amazing stuff. You have to go to goalzero.com to check it out or found on Amazon, right? Yeah, REI is another REI. One of our you guys stay right there. We'll be right back. I'm Andrea Fasano, and this is Be Terrific here at Photo Plus 2015.